This presentation provides you with an overview of the new Adams Whereabouts module, and will show how athletes in an anti-doping organization's registered testing pool can submit their whereabouts. It is important that you understand how to enter your whereabouts information, so you can be located for testing anytime. Complying with this requirement demonstrates your commitment to clean sport and ensures you don't fall afoul of the anti-doping rules. If you are not in a registered testing pool, but are required to provide your whereabouts, ask your anti-doping organization on the information you need to provide. Let's get started. Log into your account. To access the new whereabouts module, click my whereabouts link, or any of the quarters displayed on the left hand side of the screen. This will open the new whereabouts module in a new window. You'll now see the new whereabouts guide, an important new feature in Atoms. This guide assists you in providing and submitting your whereabouts in accordance with the anti-doping rules of your sport. It also provides information about the rationale behind the various requirements. The guide also serves as a checklist for completing your whereabouts and it's available by default. However, you can turn off this option. By unticking this checkbox, once that you are familiar with the system, to expand or collapse a section in the guide, click its title. To leave the guide and begin to enter your whereabouts, click any specific date on the three mini calendars, or go to calendar button in the upper right corner of the screen. Now let's go through each step to learn how to submit your whereabouts information. The first step is to provide a mailing address which is used by your anti-doping organization to contact you if necessary. Click the mailing address link here. The default address displayed here is the same as the one selected in the profile. Tick the confirmation checkbox and save. The address will be added to your address book so you can use it again in the future. The address book is a new feature that will save you time when entering locations you've used before, simplifying the entry process. That's it. You have entered your mailing address, which you should keep up to date and will need to confirm at the beginning of each quarter. Now, let's take a look at the overnight accommodation entry, which is a requirement for each night of the quarter. To create a new entry, click any blank area in the calendar or click the new button. The new entry pop-up will be displayed. Create a new address. Or select one from the drop-down list. Next, click the category drop-down list. And select overnight accommodation. Select a date from the calendar tool. You can select a recurrence for this entry. So that you don't have to follow the step for every single day. Either daily, weekly, specific dates or the entire quarter. You can also specify an end date for the recurrence. If you wish, you may assign your 60 minutes slot to your overnight accommodation entry. All overnight accommodations will be shown in your calendar with a bed icon. If you are unable to provide an overnight accommodation, because you are traveling overnight, you can create a travel entry. However, you will need to provide specific details about your travel. To create a travel entry, Select Travel in the drop-down list. You will be asked to confirm that you are unable to provide an overnight accommodation because you are traveling. If this is the case, click Confirm. In the new travel entry pop-up, select the relevant travel category. Then select the transportation type and enter all the details of your travel. When you've finished, click Save. All travel will be shown on your calendar as an airplane icon. For the quarter, you are required to include the date, name and address of each location where you are scheduled to compete. To enter your competitions, create a new entry. And follow the same steps you took for your overnight accommodations. Enter the necessary information and save. If you wish, you may assign your 60 minutes slot to your competition entry. Great! Now it's time to enter the regular activities you have for the quarter that your anti-doping organization should be aware of. To enter regular activities, such as your training or work schedule, create a new entry as you did before. Create a new address. 
or select one from the drop-down list. Then select the regular activity category. You can also specify a recurrence of this activity. For example, certain days of the week. Once that you have selected the relevant days in the quarter, and indicated a start and end time. Save the entry. If you wish you may assign your 60 minutes slot to your regular activities entry. You must enter a 60 minute time slot for each day of the quarter between 6 in the morning and 11 at night. This is the only time and place where a missed test can be declared if you cannot be found. Let's say you would like your 60 minute time slot to be at home each morning from 6 to 7. Create a new entry and select other in the category. Have this entry reoccur for the entire quarter. Enter the start time and click the 60 minute slot. Adams will automatically know when the hour ends. Finally, save the entry and all your 60 minute slots will now appear on the calendar with a small clock icon. You can add more details to your whereabouts such as a document that outlines hotel or training schedules. However, this does not replace the previous required entries. To do this, click the arrow next to the new button and select new attachment. Enter a name for this attachment. Select a start and end date. Then choose a file from your computer and save the entry. The attachment will be shown as a clip paper icon. Click the icon to see the attachment or to modify it if required. Once you've entered all the required information, it is time to submit your whereabouts. To do this, click the submit button. If you cannot click it, that means some information is missing. Check the mini calendar on the left. Any date shown in red indicates missing information. Place your cursor over the date to see what is missing. The whereabouts guide also provides you information on what is still missing. Errors will be shown with the red icon on the right side of the category header. Once that you have completed the missing entries, you may try to submit your information again. Once the submission is successful, the status will be shown as submitted. Congratulations! You have successfully submitted your whereabouts. You can change and update your whereabouts at any time during the quarter. Click the entry you wish to modify. Then click the edit button. In the entry pop-up, enter the new information and save. Don't forget to always resubmit your whereabouts after you modify it. That's it. We hope you find the new Adams whereabouts system easy to use. Providing accurate and timely whereabouts information helps your anti-doping organization to run an effective anti-doping program and is one way you can contribute to the fight against doping. Thank you.